All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Austin. It's official. PayPal confirms the development of cryptocurrency capabilities, bringing adoption to its millions of users. And this was all revealed from a letter that PayPal actually sent to the European Commission a few months ago, this is months in the making, asking the EU to provide a positive regulatory framework for cryptocurrency. In this letter, they flat out tell the EU why this matters to them. Because PayPal right now has more than 300 million active accounts across the globe, and we are adding millions of new customers every year. Well, that's users. How about merchants? With a license to provide banking and payment services in Luxembourg, PayPal serves customers and businesses in 31 European jurisdictions, representing about 95 million merchants and consumers. Let's find out the exact details and what this means for you as a crypto investor. PayPal has confirmed that it is developing capabilities in the cryptocurrency space, according to a letter to the European Commission. Originally submitted on March 20th, three, four months ago, the document was intended as a response to the European Commission's public consultation on building a European Union framework for markets and crypto assets. And PayPal made it a point to write this letter and let them know, guys, cryptocurrency is happening. We need pro-regulation on this. Okay. Let's cut right to the point. What was uncovered that PayPal was asking of the EU three, four months ago? As these cryptocurrency technologies continue to evolve, PayPal believes, we believe, thoughtful regulation that fosters innovation while promoting clarity can help the industry grow and thrive. In this regard, PayPal would be supportive of a harmonized approach across EU markets on applicable licensing or authorization requirements. They're asking for a harmonized approach so PayPal can provide cryptocurrency products and services to their users. And check this out. They say it right here. The regulatory framework should allow for innovative products and services to be brought to the market without undue regulatory burden while simultaneously providing regulatory clarity, guidance, and safeguards. This is a huge green flag for the future of cryptocurrency. PayPal, a company that could easily be dead set against cryptocurrency is saying, hey, this thing isn't going away and we could make a lot of money offering products, offering services, if the EU wouldn't burden us with regulation. And think about this. In the last six months in 2020, what's happened? Reddit has launched their own cryptocurrency directly on the Ethereum blockchain huge social media app, Jack Dorsey's Square's Cash app, making bank right now, just offering on and off ramps for Bitcoin. And in that aspect, the Cash app eclipsed PayPal-owned Venmo, another huge app. During the pandemic, Cash app beat Venmo because of the services in cryptocurrency they're starting to offer. Now, obviously nobody knows the future, but in these next six months for cryptocurrency, I would pay very close attention. And just for perspective, I want to remind you that three weeks ago, rumors came out that PayPal would offer those on and off ramps, just like Square's Cash App, for Bitcoin. Now, that still hasn't been confirmed yet. What has been confirmed is what PayPal said at the end of this letter, PayPal and crypto assets. As an innovative fintech company, and by virtue of its mission, PayPal is monitoring the evolution of the crypto asset space. In 2019, PayPal initially signed a non-binding letter of intent to participate in the U.S.'s, Facebook's, Libra Association with the intention of learning more about the proposed use of blockchain technologies to what? To what? To provide financial services to unbanked populations across the globe. So really, they're telling the EU that they just joined Libra just to learn about what they're doing, but they ended up dropping out. Since the Libra project's inception, PayPal has taken unilateral and tangible steps to further develop its capabilities in the crypto area. And therefore, without questioning the value of the Libra project, PayPal made the decision not to participate in the Libra Association and continue to focus on advancing our existing mission and business priorities to democratize access to financial services. So thank Satoshi we found a letter like this. This is PayPal telling the EU that we've been developing our own crypto capabilities in some sense or another since we dropped out of Libra and we need some regulatory clarity in Europe. We want to make this happen. 
So what does this all mean for you? Because right now it's still unclear. We don't know if they're gonna bring Bitcoin buying and selling to their app. What is confirmed is that they saw what Facebook's Libra was doing and they're saying, hey, we wanna do our own thing without devaluing their project. We've been working on our own crypto capabilities in this area and they wanna develop their own stable coin for PayPal users. In my opinion, this is incredibly bullish for Bitcoin because even if right away they don't offer the same on and off ramps, for every single hundreds of millions of users that have that use the PayPal app, if they develop a stable coin, those people will instantly get a cryptocurrency wallet right in their phone. No guarantees, but how easy would it be to integrate wallet capabilities for Bitcoin? Easy money maker for PayPal, in my opinion, but we'll see. We'll see. As I get more information, I will make a video. I will keep you updated. Next piece of news before Ethereum. Did you know that for the United States, the U.S. retirement market right now is the largest untapped addressable market for Bitcoin? Well, breaking news, thanks to Ryan Radloff, who is the CEO of Kingdom Trust, which is a retirement fund, it is now slightly less large of an untapped market. What are the details? Well, Fidelity Digital Assets to custody Bitcoin in Kingdom Trust retirement accounts. Check this out. The storage for future retirees will be offered on Kingdom Trust's Choice Retirement Accounts, a hybrid service retirement platform where investors can buy, sell, or hold stocks, ETFs, and digital assets in one tax-advantaged account. And they're choosing to do this with Fidelity. And while Fidelity Digital Assets continues to more focus on institutional customers, this partnership slash integration is one of the first sub-custody service agreements that the fund manager has made public. In an emailed statement, Fidelity clarifies that the sub-custody relationship means that customers will access the service only through Kingdom Trust. And like I said, the U.S. retirement market is right now the largest untapped market for Bitcoin, and, and we are slowly starting to see that change. I love it. Next piece of Ethereum news. Ethereum tokens are now more valuable than Ethereum itself. Check this out. The buildle philosophy on Ethereum appears to be working. Obviously, buildle is a response to the hodl philosophy for Bitcoin. You get value by hodling. Ethereum, more easily, you can build on it. And now the combined market cap for all ERC-20 tokens built on Ethereum has surpassed the network value of Ethereum itself. What does that mean for you as an Ethereum holder? All these numbers are directly from Etherscan, so you can fact check them yourself. Right now, the market cap of ERC-20 tokens is 33 billion, while ETH's market cap is 27 billion. And I guess simply what that means is, depending on how you look at this, this could be a sign of market maturity. Ethereum could be providing its value as a decentralized global supercomputer upon which various applications are built. Now the key is gonna be, will Ethereum be able to scale while still maintaining its decentralized nature? That's the key here, time will tell. Next piece of news, actually metrics for Bitcoin. Check this out. Bitcoin futures king Huobi, meaning that they are literally the top dog in the derivatives industry for crypto, they are launching another option. Actually, they're launching options trading on top of their Bitcoin futures trading that they have now. Okay, so when exactly is this happening? Huobi today announced plans to launch a Bitcoin options product sometime this quarter, so within the next three months. The offering bolsters its derivatives offering which is the biggest in the business, according to the analytics firm SKU. And we can see all the charts right here. For example, exchange 24 hour BTC futures volume in the billions. Huobi is number one, followed by OKX, Binance, BitMEX, Bybit down here, but Huobi right now is king. And now they're giving traders another option to speculate. Now, obviously Huobi wants to make money. They wanna make those sweet, sweet fees. Because if you wanna participate, Huobi's Bitcoin options have a 0 0.001 BTC buy-in. So for around $9, you can get started. And obviously the exchange charges trading and delivery fees. Okay, let me know what you think. I mean, obviously if you're a trader, you like this, but I mean, the rich get richer, the big get bigger. Just be careful, just be careful. All right, that's the video. My name's Austin, like always, see you tomorrow.